Welcome to Banalis Kitchen. Today's recipe is guest of tandoori chicken. It's very easy, simple, and the taste is crunchy outside and juicy inside. So let's see how to make this guest of tandoori chicken. For this recipe, I am using two chicken drumsticks, and here I am using two tablespoon of hand curd, and here I am using two teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste, and here two two to three spoon of cooking oil. And here my another dry ingredients and this is 1 teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of cumin seed powder, half teaspoon of methi powder, one small lime or lemon and here one and a half teaspoon of red chili powder and here half teaspoon of coriander powder, half teaspoon of garam masala and half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now I am going to mix all the ingredients together and I will marinate my chicken. First, add the hand curd into a bowl and then add all the dry powder, dry spice powder into the hand curd. Add the ginger and garlic paste, add oil. Squeeze the lemon juice, one or two teaspoon, and then mix them well together. You can use a spoon or your hand to mix up the spice mixer together. Spice mixer looking beautiful. Now I'm going to put the chicken into the mixer. Now just give a good mix using a spoon or you can use your hand. This is looking really very beautiful and the color is so nice. I think I need to use my hands for the good marination to my chicken. Yes. yes, this is perfect. The chicken is well coated with the spice mixer and looking very nice and beautiful. Perfect. Now just keep it in the refrigerator at least one or two hours. After three hours, my marinated chicken is ready to cook. For that, I'll use a grill stand or roaster grill to cook my chicken. Now I'm going to remove some of the spice mixture from the marinated chicken. And again, I will apply it later. Now, gently place the marinated chicken into the grill stand. Again, remove some spice mixer from the drumstick and place it into the grill stand. Now, add some spice mixer at the top of the marinated chicken and brush it very nicely. Yes, our chicken is ready to go our stove. Now just switch on the flame and keep it down as much as you can. Now keep the chicken in the gas stove and let it cook 15 to 25 minutes in very very low flame. Turn the other side every 2 minutes and just keep eye on it. Otherwise it will be burned. Here some of the spices are going down. That's why you are noticing the high flame. Again turn the other side and let it cook another side. It's been 15 minutes and we need to cook another 10 minutes or so. After 25 minutes our guest tandoori chicken is done. And now I am going to turn off the flame and just remove the burning spices from the chicken. Our guest of tandoori chicken is ready to be served and it's looking very nice and yummy. You can cook varieties of chicken like this way. In the same way I am cooking chicken tikka kebab in the gas stove. I hope you guys love today's gas stove cooking recipes and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye bye, take care.